Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at Polestar. Polestar has announced global volumes for the first quarter, growing lineup of the luxury SUVs to drive revenue and margin progression. In the first quarter of 2024, Polestar has delivered 7,200 cars. Out of all of that, 1,200 of those vehicles were the Polestar 4. The Polestar 3 and Polestar 4 receives very positive media reviews. That's the second point. Growing lineup of the luxury SUVs to drive expected revenue and the margin progression during second half of the year, supporting the 2025 targets. Now, we do have a statement from Thomas Ingliff, the Polestar CEO. 2024 is a traditional year. As we move from a one-car brand during the first half of the year to ramping up deliveries of our two luxury SUVs, during the second half, the very positive reviews resulting from the global media test drive of the Polestar 3 and the Polestar 4 shows the progress that the brand has been making and confirmed dynamics, global strategy. These two cars will provide the basis for a strong revenue and margin progression. The first quarter saw three future oriented strategy developments. Polestar successfully secured $950 million in the new external funding from a consortium of international banks. This was done in February, providing the funds needed to complete the next phase of the development. Additionally, the Polestar ownership structure has been clarified, with Geely Holden becoming a new major shareholder, with approximately 24% and Volvo Cars retaining 18% in stake. Furthermore, the company will welcome new shareholders and see its free float increase to approximately 18%. So Polestar has started production in China, with additional production starting in the US in the summer of 2024. With the Polestar 4 production expanding to South Korea, this will be done during the second half of 2025. Polestar is making significant progress in diversifying its manufacturing footprint in order to improve profitability of its key markets, including the US. Polestar expects to post its preliminary unaudited financial and operating results for the first quarter of 2024 on Thursday, 23rd of May, 2024. This is very interesting, of course, because this means Polestar deliveries have fallen by 40% in a year-over-year -year Q1. So I'm sure this is quite disappointing for Polestar and for Polestar fans, of course. To put this all in perspective, last year in Q1, Polestar delivered over 12,000 vehicles. And of course, this year in Q1, they delivered 7,200. Granted, one of the biggest positives for Polestar right now is the fact that they're rolling out the Polestar 4 gradually and slowly. And of course, they have plans for the Polestar 4 to join in sales later this year. Now, the company's expectations are still really high, if I'm being completely honest. I quoted the CEO saying that they're wanting to support their 2025 targets. To put this all in perspective, the 2025 targets for Polestar, the company aims to deliver between 155,000 vehicles to 165,000 vehicles. And 2025 is next year. So you might be wondering why they're delivering so much less vehicles this year. Are they focusing on bringing the new vehicles to market? Is that perhaps one of the reasons? Or... Or is it because the demand of EVs are falling? And is it because Polestar is probably seeing less demand in terms of vehicles being sold? I still think that the global deliveries of the Polestar 3 and the Polestar 4 is set to certainly bring a positive effect on the Polestar company and in a global presence. Those vehicles are really important to the brand. And if Polestar is really building up to have a huge year next year, 2025, then having all three vehicles on sale and being able to deliver these vehicles at full production, that would be really impressive. So perhaps this year is a year of efficiency for Polestar. They want to make sure that they can manufacture and deliver the Polestar 4 and 3 in a manageable and professional manner. Similarly to what they're currently doing with the Polestar 2, and they've been doing it really well so far so if they can ramp up production and they can keep costs low could they have a huge year in 2025 and you know i must say it's not just polestar i think rivian is doing a slightly similar thing rivian currently has closed their factory and they are simply improving the factory so that they could build vehicles more efficiently the vehicles will cost less to build and they will probably be built in a faster time 
so a strategy like this will really pay dividends to Rivian long term. If Polestar is doing a similar thing where they're sacrificing 2024 in order to have a great 2025, I think they're absolutely going to shock the world. Polestar and Rivian, I think they both will absolutely shock the world. So in terms of delivery numbers, they will decline this year by the looks of it. Or could they recover by the end of the year? Because what we're seeing here is a company that's a lot less focused on the Polestar 2. And they have to dedicate some of that focus to the new vehicles that are very important to the brand's future. Arguably, the Polestar 3 and Polestar 4 are more important to Polestar's long-term future than the current Polestar 2. The Polestar 2 is very limited in what it can do in terms of making profit. While I believe the Polestar 3 and Polestar 4, they're driven, built to be profit machines. So the brand wanting to ramp up production and perhaps sacrificing this year perhaps makes a lot of sense. This is if they can pull it off. If they can pull it off next year to deliver over 155,000 vehicles, it would be worth it. But what if they don't? It's, it's a risk. So they must have some confidence knowing that they can absolutely deliver on that promise for next year. Now in saying this, you can obviously see that the stock price didn't do so well today. And it's no surprise, to be honest, this is completely justified. Because for Polestar, for the average investor investing in this company, they're thinking, what the F? What the hell is going on? There's a huge panic, of course. But in moments like this, I do enjoy the panic. Because I think if they're having a negative start to the year, I think if they're having a negative start to the year, which they are, I think it can only get better. They plan on getting more funding, an additional three, $350 million. They plan on bringing two new vehicles to the market, not just the Asian market, but the, the European market as well for the Polestar 3 and 4. They plan on introducing these vehicles to the US also. So I believe towards the end of the year, Polestar, the perspective of Polestar will gradually improve and people will eventually realize that perhaps what their plan is ultimately working out. But we're going to have to wait. Because the most important thing, which is the huge takeaway, is that they will have a positive end of the year, bringing two new fantastic vehicles to the market that I'm very excited about. And I will be at the Polestar 4 event in my city, seeing that vehicle be an unveil. And I'm looking forward to getting a test drive, hopefully soon. So while it might seem that the company is going rather slow at the moment, I think it's part of their plan. I think it's part of their plan and it's part of the wider picture. There's a bigger picture at, at a nucleus of this. And I think it's going to take time. It's going to take time for us to realize this plan. In fact, it's going to take another two years before we fully understand if this works. We're still at the start of this year. It's going to take the entirety of this year and the entirety of next year. And then we'll realize, okay, Polestar plan actually worked. So that's it for today's video. There's some negative, but there's also some positive. But we sort of expected this. So that is it for today's video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Leave your thoughts below in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.